In today's show, we give an update on a new Australia facing sports book, a complaint involving a denied earned bonus, and more. Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom here with an SBR iGaming News update, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. Pinnacle Sports has released a statement concerning the emergence of the new online sportsbook pinnaclebet.com.au. The new venture is an exclusively Australian facing sportsbook that is in a partnership with Pinnacle Sport and shares part of its name, software, and core values. The operations of Pinnacle Bet are otherwise entirely separate from Pinnacle Sports. Current Pinnacle Sports clients based in Australia are free to open an account with Pinnacle Bet. Now, while the betting odds remain the same, different wagering limits can be found on a per-event basis. Players will also enjoy the same highly customised version of the Pinnacle Sports software. The full statement can be found on the SBR Newswire. Online sportsbook Sporting Bet has refused to apply yet another earned bonus. A player wrote in to SBR detailing he decided to take Sporting Bet up on their offer of a 50% free bet bonus of up to 250 euros. He deposited 500 euros and made an all-in wager. The wager ended up losing and the player still had not been credited with his bonus. So he launched an inquiry with Sporting Bet support. Sporting Bet told him that it can take up to 48 hours after that time frame expired. The player was told that he was excluded from the bonus. The sports book has long enforced a rule that allowed for earned bonuses not to be credited if it is believed the player has violated the following rule. Sporting Bet reserves the right to refuse a free bet to a customer where Sporting Bet reasonably believes that such customer has historically or is abusing or defrauding the free bet system, for example, engaging in arbitrage. SBR reported in May of 2012 of this very same practice. At the time, the Old New Gambling Control Commission rubber-stamped this decision. Now, additional reports were made in January of 2013, as well as during the first half of 2014 concerning this practice. Now, while it's not uncommon for online sportsbook to craft such rules protecting themselves from the extreme case of bonus abusers, SBR questions the continued application of the rule. And finally, a big thank you to New Jersey's state senator Raymond Lesniak for joining me earlier this week and giving an interview on sport betting in his state. Lesniak intends to proceed onward with the state's plans to bring sports betting to the Garden State, even should the U.S. Supreme Court decide to uphold previous rulings by the U.S. District Court and Third Circuit Court of Appeals. You may watch the full interview by clicking on the link in the description below this video. That's all from me today. Do be sure to tune in for next week's show. I've been your host, Natalie Rydstrom, reporting for sportsbookreview.com.